In this video, we're going to cover how to set up the work brand football uniforms with MetaHuman so that we can make a simple scene like this in Unreal Engine 5. So here we are in Unreal Engine and we have downloaded a MetaHuman. This MetaHuman is a male tall normal, which is the body size we need for the football outfits. And we've generated uh, him with a t-shirt, some shorts, and some boots. This is what's going to give us uh, the best result uh, to match the football outfit. So we're in our downloaded MetaHuman here and I'm going to duplicate him and I'm just going to call him E1. That's a completely fine name. Let's open up this new MetaHuman blueprint and we'll see that it's the exact same thing. So first thing, let's go ahead and set our LOD sync to zero. This can be zero or one, or if you know how to use uh, the custom mappings, basically the body needs to be LOD zero for this to work out uh, the best. Next, we're in Unreal Engine 5.4, so skeletal meshes are still bugged. You can see that this guy has a t-shirt on, yet over here, no t-shirt, right? So it's kind of a problem, but I'll show you how I deal with this. So what we're gonna do next is go to Content Browser, and we're gonna go to Work Brand Football, and we're gonna go to Male Tall Normal. And let's select our torso here, our upper body. I'm going to close this one. So here we are with our new MetaHuman. And again, uh, Unreal Engine 5.4, uh, torso, it's not there. So we're going to click this arrow button and it's going to populate the torso, yet nothing has changed. Then we're going to clear it, which actually clears it. And then we're going to put it back in, except it's doing the wrong outfit. So we're going to hit reset. And now finally we have it. So that is the workflow uh, for better or for worse in Unreal Engine 5.4 with putting clothing, clothing on metahumans. So let's do the same thing for the pants. Let's go pants. We're going back. We're going to go legs. Again, there's no pants there. We'll populate it, reset it, populate it, reset the material. This dance, it's getting old, but that's what we do now. Uh, I'm a programmer, so I'm constantly compiling and saving. You don't have to do that. Let's grab the shoes here, and we're going to do the same dance again. Shoes, great. There's, there's not much there. We're going to populate. We're going to reset. We're going to populate it again, and we're going to reset the texture. And we have, finally, what we're actually looking for here. Um, so for the hands and for the helmet, how does this work? So what we're going to need is two more of these slots here. So... I'm going to go ahead and take torso and we're going to duplicate it. I'm just going to call this helmet. Then I'm going to duplicate this again and I'm going to call it uh, hands or let's call it gloves like that. So uh, just like everything else, let's grab our helmet here. And this one actually shows up right because we've already reset it. Let's grab our helmet, this one like that. And we're going to set it up here and it just goes right in there. So that's looking pretty good. And then we're going to go to our gloves here and gloves and reset this. So now we have uh, the full outfit going. He's an LOD zero. Let's go ahead and compile and save. So there's one more thing before we go here. Uh, we're going to need to go to our construction script and we'll move this over. We're going to copy and paste this twice like this. Copy, paste, paste again. I'm going to hold control and move this one there. And we're just gonna add these two into the line here. So we're going to left click and drag uh, gloves here. And then we're gonna left click and drag and put helmet there. That is what you need for those newly created uh, skeletal, skeletal mesh slots to kind of follow along with the body. So we compile and we save. The control rig has spawned. We're going to delete uh, the face and both control rigs. We're not going to animate the face right now. And I'm going to go to this and look for some football animations that I've recorded with my mocap system. These were recorded and authored at 60, so I'm going to switch my timeline to 60 so to end up with like weird half frame stuff. That doesn't go well. Uh, there's no real need to actually get that to line up. I'm going to hit the home key, which kind of lines me up here. And let's grab a bit of a position here and watch this animation come back with our football skin. Looking pretty good. Uh, feet working, hands staying synced, and everything's looking pretty nice. 
Great, so this is our first MetaHuman setup with the football uniforms, and you can see the animation, everything's working really great with them. Let's hit pause and let's make a new MetaHuman that has a different uh, skin. Uh, you'll see that his head is disconnected. Don't worry about that. That's like a sequencer thing right now. So let's go to our MetaHumans and we're going to go to our football MetaHuman and we're going to duplicate again. E2 is a perfect name. Let's open him up. So everything is going to stay the same except for the skin or the material slash texture. So we're going to grab the helmet and we're going to go down to C. Going to grab the torso. We're going to go down to C. And we're just going to do this for all of them. Uh, this is the way that the marketplace has us organized assets. And it does make stuff like this uh, rather convenient. So we're going to do the last one for these shoes here. And we'll go to C. And this kit comes with four different uh, variations. And this is the third one. Let's bring him here. And I'm just going to set up a tiny bit of a scene so we can see uh, the outfits in action and also maybe learn a tiny bit about sequencer if you don't do this kind of work uh, too often. Okay, so now he's in place and we can see that the timing of this is like not good, right? Like, so he, he caught the ball already and he hasn't even thrown it. So <laughs> we have some work to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dock this animation. I don't need that thing. And clearly the throw is down here. So... He's looking around, and there's the throw, and he throws it. Throw. Cool. Um, and so maybe the catch is like like right after it or something like that. So we'll probably take this from here or something. We don't have too much more room. And we'll grab our first guy's animation and kind of drag it around. So we have the throw and the catch. I mean, that's like pretty delayed. I don't know. We'd have to work out some like actual football animation timing. Uh, I'm going to have him catch it a little bit earlier than that. Throw, catch. Excellent. So I'm not going to animate a football right now. That would be fun, though, actually. Uh, maybe I will come back and do that. But let's go ahead and add a transform track to this person as well. And we're going to drop a key on the transform uh, for our other football player. I'm just going to move him a little bit downfield over here. Not that this makes a ton of sense, but... Um, anyway, huh. yeah, who knows about that timing, but, uh, still a kind of cool little, uh, previs animation here, uh, using the football outfits as I imagine they would be used <laughs> to make a little bit of a football scene here. So here's our final look at our sequence. He throws it, he catches it, and the metahuman outfits are looking pretty snazzy. Let me know if you have any questions or issues, uh, on this YouTube video. And I think I'm going to put together a Discord channel dedicated to the uh, work brand MetaHuman clothing and the different Unreal Engine products that I make. I'll check you on the next video. Peace.